tall, tall fans, man. Man, 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 man. You guys, the tall army, rather. You guys are relentless, man. And I kept on seeing um, Fibonacci. Fibonacci, Fibonacci sequence. And I was like, what is this? I was like, is this some, like, tall, like, secret society word that now, because we've done a couple reactions, maybe we're in the club now? So I saw it, and I, I spoke to Charles. I was like, what is this, bro? And then, obviously, I read a couple of the comments, and you guys were like, oh, this is the sequence that, um, it's a math... I, I don't even understand it, so I'm actually going to try and watch this video here and um, see what I can get from it. All I know that there's maths involved, and I hate maths. So maths and music together is like um kissing the hottest girl at school but she's got bad breath it's like oh no but i want to but oh, oh but it smells so bad but yeah that's that's what it feels like to me so yeah um yeah let's get into it man you know when you write something like say if you have an idea if you're just sitting around you're like i have a thought do you just sit down and do you go, okay, this is a Tool song, this is a Perfect Circle song, this is a Pussifer song? Does it just like... No, because what I'm, what I'm writing to is, is the music that I'm hearing from those people. So that's all you write to? I write to the music because that way it's a unique, it's a unique island situation. Mm. Those, those things are going to... Whenever I've tried to write, I've had some poetry sitting over here that I want to write, mm -hmm. and I've tried to uh, force it onto a song for any of those projects it doesn't work yeah i i mean as a composer's way i get that a lot when you try to come in with a pre like pre conceived notion that you're going to write this particular song and then when the music comes it's like it doesn't even it doesn't even coexist with each other it's just like yeah so you need to hear the song i need, I need to hear the finished thing you know f f almost finished thing and then put lyrics to it yeah Mm. Yeah, get the get the melodies in place, get the rhythms as if I'm an instrument. And Is that can... how you guys did that Fibonacci song? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That was a really unique undertaking. How? What? What was the process behind that? Like, did you did you say, hey? I know they're probably going to get into it a bit more, but I'm just like just thinking about it logically, like using math to make music is probably for me the most like backwards thing you could ever do. It's like music is such a uh, a free flowing thing you know it's a space of inspiration not calculation so it seems so backwards so i'm interested to see where it goes and i don't even know what song it was that the the sequence was in that i've listened to but i need to probably go back for people who don't know what the fuck we're talking about the fibonacci sequence is a very unique mathematical sequence that appears in nature it's uh it's in fractals it's in sunflowers if you look at like the pattern of sunflower seeds if you look at nautilus shells and what it is, it's uh, an expanding fractal sort of a mathematical equation. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but it's like the first step is zero, and then there's one, and then there's one, 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 two, one, three, one, five, eight. two, two plus, th yeah, and right. it just keeps going on. So but that's the that's the Fibonacci number, like the right. whole number, like actual number sequence. There's there's the uh, phi ratio, one right. point one point six one eight. Anything multiplied by the one point six one eight, that that or not not multiplied, the relationship, uh, the difference, uh, the difference in the length from uh, this finger to this finger, as opposed to this finger to that finger. Those those knuckles uh, in your digits, those are all in that in that relationship of one point six one eight, the phi relationship. So that the fractals. As it's as it's growing, that progression is uh, is that is that ratio, and then the number breakdown is as you said, it's one one two. Just a quick ignorant question here, as as I'm getting into this, um, th th this whole thing could it not just be like, do you think we're going too deep? Do you think they're going too deep on it? Like you, okay, we're going to use this sequence to create a song, and now everyone's like, this is the greatest song ever. Do you think it's a bit too deep? You know, part of me. It's just like oh, but you could, you could say uh, we made a song, you know, using the the numbers of like the proportions of um, Kim Kardashian's face, the ratio of her face. So it's now the perfect. So I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm explaining myself well, but can't we just use math, the mathematic, you know, uh, the mathematic sums from anything, and then create a song. Like, I don't know. I'm still, I still need to get into this a bit deeper. I'm not even, I'm just at the top of the surface, man. Five, eight, 13. 
Yeah, 21. so like so 1 on. plus 1 is 2, 2 right. plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, right. 5 plus 3 is 8. And it's like everything you you count, you add what came before it. And you got a spiral uh, picture like of a Giza plateau showing you the... Mm. Well, also facial structure, which is really fascinating. Yeah. There's something about human facial structure that uses the Fibonacci sequence. And I read something where about why people recognize plastic surgery while it disturbs them. Boom. Yeah, it's like, what's going on with the sequence? Like, the sequence is off. So my friend... Uh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, my friend. The Fibonacci relationships of the human head. And yeah. it's all... Uh, I had a friend who said, you know how when you know, a, you know a, a, a family has had a child who has Down syndrome, right? There's, there's a, there, it, does, it, it crosses racial divides. It just, you can tell. This that, that is true. That's something that me and Charles always, or well, not always, like we always talk about it, but no, that's something that we have spoken about, like when there is kids with down syndrome you kind of just know when you look at the facial features for some reason but you can never quite figure out why that is so that's quite interesting this family has had that that child has down syndrome there's mm -hmm. a look that goes along with it and he said it's the same look you know not the same look but like it's the same recognition of people who have had uh facial plastic surgery mm. you recognize you're not fooling anybody you are right. you've done a thing that's recognizable universally as wrong something's wrong with your face so, there's, an, there's an off yeah it's off yeah but i thought it was funny that he was actually connecting it to down no disrespect to people with down syndrome but um yeah i know what you're saying yeah yeah but but it is like when you see someone with a disease like oh there's clearly an error here in the code yes yeah and, and the and the facial reconstruct like the you know, plastic surgery because i'm just oh shit I, i'm getting older yeah. This will fool them. Well, the nose thing, too, is weird. Like when someone has a uniquely small nose and mm -hmm. their face, you know, they might have like a long, like Ari Shafir type face, but then they have this like shrunken down nose. You're like, hey. Yeah. Like this seems fucked. Right. This doesn't, there's a ratio that's supposed to exist and yeah. it doesn't exist. Not, Why are your lips? But, you know. Is it, there's, okay. Again, I think I can hear the tool army or well, part of the army saying, you're just too dumb to understand this, blah, 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 blah. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just not. Maybe this is just, a, you know, a different strat stratosphere in terms of, like, musicianship using uh, a, uh, the Fibonacci sequence to, to create music. Um, it's a very, it's, it, it's an understandable concept. I still don't get it. I don't get the point of it. I don't get the, the, um, it's, it's just, okay. You know, okay, they used some math. You know, and then I know people can be like, what? Just use some math. He didn't just use some math. Um, this is, this is God's creation. You know, I can hear, I can hear everyone saying that in the comments because I, I don't know, I kind of, I can kind of feel certain people's energy. It's like, yeah, I get it. Like, it's incredible to, to use maths and stuff like that in, in your songs. But I think for me, just on a personal taste, like, I would prefer not to see what is behind the hood, you know, of a car. I just want to drive it. I don't want to. I don't want to lose the magic of it. You know, like the Wizard of Oz. I don't want to pull back the veil and know what's going on. I just kind of want to be mesmerized by the experience and by the music, and you know, wondering how the hell did they create that? I guess, um, you know, Maynard talking about the 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 sequence is kind of just like obviously lifting the veil and saying, "Yo, we've used perfect mathematics to create a a song." Hey, listen, and it's like. It doesn't add or subtract anything for me. It's still the same as what it was. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. You guys, let me know what you think about the whole sequence. Let me know if I've interpreted it wrong. I've only watched one video on it. Um, so maybe I need to dig deeper, delve deeper. Let me know if I do need to d dig deeper, you know. But as it stands right now, my opinion, my unfully formed opinion, um, yeah, it's, I mean... I mean, I thought it was going to be some, like, secret society type thing, man. I th you guys, man, had me fooled. I was like, what is this? Fabernot? I was like, man, we're in. I was like, Charles, we're in. And, no, yeah, it was just, but yeah. Um, it is what it is. Um, again, as I always say, if you guys got this far, really appreciate you watching this far. Leave me some suggestions of other stuff you want us to have a look at or we can look at, you know. I want to broaden my horizons. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.